The city was a labyrinth of secrets, and the crime scene tape was the ribbon that tied them all together. It fluttered in the wind, a stark yellow line that marked the boundary between the known and the unknown, the seen and the unseen. Detective Rayburn approached the latest canvas of chaos, his eyes scanning the perimeter defined by the crime scene tape. It was a dance he knew too well, a tango with the truth that was always one step ahead. The tape whispered of the stories it held, of the silent screams and the secrets spilled just beyond its reach. Inside the tape's embrace lay a room frozen in time, a snapshot of struggle captured in the disarray. The furniture was upturned, the walls bore the scars of desperation, and amidst it all, the crime scene tape seemed to hold everything back, a barrier to the outside world. Rayburn knelt, his fingers grazing the edge of the tape, feeling the electric charge of the untold story pulsing beneath. The tape was a storyteller, a keeper of the final moments of the victim's tale. It was a line that the living were not meant to cross, a threshold guarded by the spectres of the past. As he stood, the crime scene tape caught on his coat, a gentle tug that felt like the hand of the victim, beckoning him closer, urging him to look beyond the physical, to see the story that lay hidden in the shadows. The tape was everywhere, crisscrossing the scene, a web of warning, of caution, of respect for the story that had unfolded. It was the only witness to the crime, the silent observer that held its vigil long after the sirens had faded and the onlookers had dispersed. And as Rayburn's eyes pieced together the clues, the crime scene tape seemed to tighten around the room, a grip that held all the answers just out of reach. It was a challenge, a dare to find the truth among the lies. But the tape also spoke of a promise, a promise that justice would be found, that the story would be told, and that the silence would be broken. The crime scene tape was not just a barrier, it was a bridge to the final act of the play, the crescendo before the curtain fell. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the tape's golden hue, Rayburn knew that the interval was approaching, the moment of respite before the story twisted again, before the tape would lead him down the next dark alley of this city's heart. The crime scene tape fluttered once more, a final bow before the intermission, a pause in the narrative that promised more twists to come. The intermission was over, and the second act of Detective Rabin's grim ballet with the crime scene tape began. The tape, now a familiar companion, whispered secrets of the night, each flutter a syllable in the city's dark narrative. As the moon climbed, casting a silver glow on the crime scene tape, Rayburn's mind raced. The clues were speaking, each one a crisp echo in the silence of the room. The shattered vase, the scattered papers, the lone fingerprint on the window ledge, they were notes in a symphony of evidence, and the crime scene tape was the conductor. The detective moved with renewed purpose, his shadow intertwining with the tape's outline, a duet of determination. He traced the steps of the assailant, the victim, the dance of death that had played out in this very room. And with each step, the crime scene tape seemed to tighten, a noose around the neck of the mystery. Then a revelation, a hidden message, written in the dust beneath the couch, visible only from the angle of a fallen lamp. The crime scene tape seemed to glow, as if highlighting the discovery, a beacon in the detective's quest. Rayburn's heart raced as he pieced it together, the story crystallising before his eyes. The motive, the opportunity, the means, they were all there, wrapped within the confines of the crime scene tape. And then, the final piece, as crisp as the autumn air that slipped under the door. A ticket stub, a name, a time. The alibi crumbled and the suspect's facade fell away. The crime scene tape had held the truth all along, a silent guardian of the night's tale. With the dawn came the resolution, the closing of the case. The crime scene tape could rest now, its job done, its story told. Rayburn stepped outside the tape's boundary one last time, the case file under his arm. 
the city would wake soon, oblivious to the drama that had unfolded within the confines of the crime scene tape. But for Detective Rayburn, the tape would always be more than just a barrier. It was a key to unlocking the city's deepest secrets, a crisp reminder that every story, no matter how hidden, would eventually be told. 